What is a movie that has aged poorly? Never Been Kissed. Drew Barrymore posing as a teenager and having a relationship W the teacher who gets mad when he finds out she's not a teenager and is his age, then we're just supposed to smooth it over at the end. The entire subgenre of romantic comedy that can be described as Stalker Gets the Girl. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil 1997. Kevin Spacey is a rich closeted homosexual who murders his much younger lover. Benjamin Button. Rochelle, Rochelle a young girl strange, erotic journey from Milan to Minsk. 40 days and 40 nights. No one lives like that in San Francisco or works at a tech firm designing websites to make money like that. X200B. But most importantly, that ending would not fly. Victim blaming when he gets raped by his ex-girlfriend? It's just so wrong. 90 of American silent films. They aged so poorly they literally don't exist anymore. Revenge of the Nerds. The Blue Lagoon. Rambo 3. The heroic Afghan Muslim freedom fighters fighting the Soviets. Hoodwinked. I still think it's a great movie, but the animation style is horrific in today's age. Overboard. A man takes advantage of a woman that has amnesia and forces her to raise his kids. Airplane will live forever as perfect bitches. American Pie. Using a secret camera to broadcast naked high school students on the internet. Manhattan. 44-year-old Woody Allen has a affair with 17-year-old Meriel Hemingway. How art imitates life. Greece. I thought to watch it with my kids and was like WTF am I watching? Blank check. Grown woman kisses a boy on the mouth. 16 candles. I still enjoy it for what it is for the most part, but there are a few things that are pretty problematic, first and foremost being Jake Ryan telling Ted to take advantage of his girlfriend while she's passed out. Long Duck Dong's character is an insanely racist depiction of an Asian person. The whole underwear show is so wrong too. Wedding crashes it has a full-on rape scene and because it's a guy he's supposed to move on and ends up with the girl. Back to the future too. It's been 7.5 years past their date and we still don't have most of the things they predicted. Hi BuzzFeed Light Skin Tone Emoji Modifier 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 Dirty Dancing A minor dating a guy clearly in his 30s at best. 1964 Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I know they learn to be nice in the end but like, it's only because Rudolph was useful. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Casting Mickey Rooney as a stereotype Japanese man? Fucked up. Edit actually, I think racist caricature is a better way to describe his character. Grease, a girl changing everything about herself and picking up bad habits smoking to appeal to the friends of the guy she met over a summer holiday. Blame it on Rio. James Bond movies from the 60s. He basically forced himself on women to the point it would qualify as rape today. Pretty much every raunchy irreverent high school college themed comedy from before about 1998. Animal House, Revenge of the Nerds, Porkies, etc. So much rape humor and other sexual socially charged jokes that just fall flat these days. You could never make Soul Man today. Pick any teen movie from the 70s 80s and there's probably someone getting raped and having it played as a joke. Dodgeball is still great, but that Lance Armstrong cameo. OOF. Song of the South. The new Jurassic World films already look more out of date than the original. The Toy. Porkies. There's some truly questionable dialogue from Sixteen Candles that just hasn't stood the test of time. Revenge of the Nerds. 
I'm not sure how anyone was okay with the rape scene being played off for laughs back then, but it legitimately makes the movie impossible to rewatch for me.